You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Let's talk about Skip Bayless because there's still ongoing fallout around that tweet last night that he issued very publicly <laughs> that he received a boatload of backlash over involving DeMar Hamlin of the Buffalo Bills. Of course, DeMar is in critical condition last night after um, uh, what looked like a hit to the chest that some people are saying might have stopped his heart, sent him into cardiac arrest. Uh, But really, there's not any more details than that as of right now on the man's condition. Uh, Man, we wish him a speedy recovery. We hope he comes out fine. Uh, But needless to say, that became the big sports topic very, very, very quickly. And uh, last night, Skip Bayless uh, sent out a tweet that uh, uh, pissed a lot of people off, for lack of a better way of putting it. I mean, absolutely sent people uh, over the edge. Now, I've got to be honest with you, as a guy that managed in the corporate world for 12 years, there's part of me that understood Skip's tweet. I'm not going to lie. Um we had people, and I talked about this in a video I did on the other channel. We had people out on our production floors that had seizures, almost died for various reasons over over the years. That that one one reason or another, their lives had to be saved on the spot in front of everybody, you know. And um, but at the same time, fifteen minutes after it was over, everybody did have to go back to work. Nobody was getting to leave. And the job had to go on. Unfortunately, that is part of some businesses. And, uh, you know, I can think about somebody like my dad, very old school. And uh, Skip Bayless, no doubt, very old school. Not that I'm giving giving him a pass, but there's part of me that understands what Skip was trying to say. And it did not work out well for him last night at all. No doubt the NFL is... considering postponing the rest of this game. But how? This late in a season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Okay, so he's kind of talking out of both sides of his ass, too, at the same time. So, flash forward to today, because everybody was very interested. What is Shannon Sharp going to say to Skip Bayless? Well, Shannon Sharp didn't show up. Shannon Sharp did not show up to today's episode of Undisputed. Many people believe it is a response to Skip Bayless's comments. A lot of people went after Skip last night. Des Bryant, Darrell Rivas, Kendrick Perkins. I mean, a wide range of folks. Doug Gottlieb of Fox Sports. Came after Skip last night. Uh, it got very public and very vocal very quickly. A lot of people were furious. This is Bro Bible. Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless are no strangers to the odd squabble or two. The Pro Football Hall of Famer, longtime shock jock, regularly go at it as co host of Fox Sports Morning Show Undisputed. But now it appears that Bayless, ever the antagonist, has crossed the line. Sharp was noticeably absent from Tuesday morning's episode, and fans believe it is a response to Bayless's controversial comments on the terrifying incident involving Buffalo Bills defensive back DeMar Hamlin on Monday Night Football. Hamlin went into sudden cardiac arrest and needed to be resuscitated on the field. Medical personnel performed CPR for nine minutes. Hamlin was, is currently in critical condition at the University of Cincinnati Hospital. Uh, the Buffalo Bills and the Bengals were playing for playoff seating in the AFC. The NFL does have an issue on its hands. No doubt they're all in a room right now trying to figure out what to do because last night's game, it does affect the playoffs. It absolutely does. Okay? Fans couldn't believe what Bayless had to say, and it appears neither could Sharp. Bayless began Tuesday's show on his own, and with and appeared to walk back his tweet regarding the incident. Quote, allow me to say out front, I apologize for what we're going to set out to do today if it offends anyone, because we're going to try to do the show pretty much 
as we usually do the show. But I'll admit up front, I'm still shook up by what happened last night to DeMar Hamlin. In fact, I'm still wrecked. In fact, I'm not sure I'm capable of doing this show today. But after barely sleeping on it, I decided to give it a try. Maybe I'll fail. Maybe we will fail. But we're going to try. Bayless then proceeded with the show, but without aid of the co-host. And people are saying right now that the show's pretty bad today. That the show is not very good without Shannon not being there. Um, And Skip is one of the best in the business as far as these kind of shows go. But he's always had some kind of a co-host to bounce things off of and to get that back and forth rhetoric going. Now, the big league says this. Bayless attempted to explain the tweet on Tuesday's edition. He did so alone. Shannon Sharp was absent from the show for reasons that were not announced. Uh, Bayless said he felt the tweet was misconstrued or misinterpreted. Let's just listen for a sec. So many horrific injuries, but this is very different in all caps. And then came my third tweet which I believe was widely misconstrued, misinterpreted. I don't follow what's happening on Twitter. I just tweet. But my boss here at Fox called and said, hey, people are really reacting strongly to your tweet. Maybe you should clarify, which I immediately did. But my first tweet was simply, as a journalist, I was putting myself in the heads of the NFL. Okay, and look, he's saying, I was trying to put myself in the place of the league. This is what he followed up with. Nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I prayed for him and will continue to. So that was what Skip Bayless come out with. Again, many people believe that Shannon Sharp is out today in protest of what Skip Bayless had to say. Now, again, Skip Bayless is old school. He's covered the NFL forever. He was an on-the-ground writer covering the old 49ers glory days and the old Cowboys glory days. Skip has always been very rough around the edges. No nonsense, no bullshit. A lot of people used to be that way. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and condone what he said, but at the same time, we've been very vocal on this channel. We do not believe in cancellation of any kind, whether I agree with it or not. Okay? Um, In my opinion, Skip Bayless has got the right to say what he feels like he needs to say. But evidently, it. uh, I mean... It upset people so bad that even his boss at Fox Sports is calling him saying, look, you're catching hell on Twitter, and he is. He is undergoing hell unlike a lot of people have seen on social media for a while. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. We appreciate you guys watching. Again, we're praying for DeMar Hamlin to come out of this situation healthy, strong, and hopefully, with any luck, he will be able to resume his dream of being in the NFL. But his health is the most important thing, first and foremost. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.